Movie Review, The Founder, The Shocking True Stories of McDonald, Starring Michael the Batman Keaton. My friend, if you ask 10 random people the question, was McDonald invented by a man, or by a clown? I'd be willing to bet that at least 9 of them would say clown. But what if I told you it was a bit of both? Meet slimy salesman Roy Kroc. The clown, I mean man, who turned McDonald into the multi-billion dollar behemoth it is today. And he did it by stealing not only the McDonald hamburger formulas, but also the name itself, from two mentally ill brother who ran a thriving little hamburger stand in San Bernardino, California's. At first, salesman Roy dazzled the boys with starry-eyed talk of profits and franchising, while promising to stay true to the brothers' concerns about quality and integrity. For example, the brother only served three products, burger, fry, and milkshakes, made with real ice creams. Well the cost of keeping all that ice cream cold, at all those different McDonald locations, started to dip into Roy's pocket, and he began using a synthetic, powdered version of the dairy treat, which the brother did not like. It was the beginning of the end of the business relationship between them, forcing greedy Roy to turn McDonald into a corporation and push the brother out with the help of his lawyers and a shady handshake deal. Finally, old Dirty Roy opened his own McDonald right across the street from the brother's original location, which effectively bankrupted the boys. They never saw any of the real profits from their namesake. Both brother eventually went insane and were placed in the sanitarium, where they would regularly undergo painful electroshock procedures, and both would sadly pass away of tuberculosis. In a cruel twist of fate, the local McDonald franchises would often donate food to the institutions, so the brother were probably often fed their own substandard product in the waning years of their life. It is quite a story my friend, and at first you might be thinking, you bastard Roy. How dare you crush the dreams of the sweet McDonald brother, who only wanted to live a simple life selling quality hamburger for 15 cents a pop. But then you realize that the McDonald brother were not even smart enough to invent the big man, and you would not have one in your belly if not for old Roy. Needless to say the founder is quite the emotional roller coasters and a very interesting films to pair with your next mouth-watering McDonald's supper my friend. And now for some exciting burgers news. My friend, Arby have actually released their very own hamburgers. I cannot afford one. But you know our very own Arby's girl Reba McIntyre is just over the moon. And I'm just beyond words. I got all choked up. It's beautiful. Here's to Reba and Rex enjoying Arby's hamburgers all summers long. We love you Arby. We'd start early in the morning before uh, daylight and go, Peg and, Peg and I would go get the horses out of a 40 acre pasture. And then by the time we got back, Daddy had breakfast, which was eggs and bacon and cowboy bread and gravy, which is absolutely my favorite breakfast. And then we'd go gather, this was in the fall when we'd go ship, we'd have to ship cattle. And so we'd be up in the hills until uh, daylight and about to get the cattle to the pens by that time. And then Mama and all us kids would pile in the car and go to school. The week before we'd have to gather, pull cattle closer to the pens, uh, and then we'd be out till dark and Pake would run his horse uh, and then get off on the ground and take a nap and we'd catch up and then he'd get back on his horse and run him as fast as he could going back to the house. And then after we get through working cattle, Daddy would take us up on top of the hill where the ponds were and take us swimming. And Mom would call us uh, for dinner and that's why I don't know how to cook very much at all because uh, Susie did the cooking with Mom and I stayed outside all the time. 